Hey, hey, that looks pretty cool. This should be my studio. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you all doing? I hope you enjoyed the weekend and also the review that I did on this car. Now the weather has slightly changed, as always being as unpredictable as ever here in the UK, it is raining. I wanted to do a QA, and a a fun Q&A out and about in the sunshine, but unfortunately, we're gonna be sat in the car answering some of your questions. Firstly, I'd like to thank every single person that commented on my Instagram and Twitter posts. I think I posted it about 11 o'clock last night as a quick random idea that I was gonna do a Q&A, the first Q&A since owning the Lamborghini. So there's a lot of questions that need to be answered, both car related and non-car related. So let's jump in before I get absolutely soaked and get answering your questions. Right, I'm gonna slightly try different angle. I've taken off my shoes and I'm gonna try and lean and make this a very casual Q&A. Hey, that looks pretty cool. This should be my studio. This should be like the Top Gear studio. I'm very crouched and not very good po posture. My back's quite curved. I feel quite hunched. Hashtag ask Paul. This seems to be the gener generic hashtag now that I do when I'm gonna be doing a Q&A, but yesterday I was thinking, I haven't done a Q&A since I got the Lamborghini. I have had so many questions come in across Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, um, and Google Plus about what I will do to the car, what's next, lots and lots of cool questions. Let's kick it off with some from Twitter. And Will has asked me, this is a great way to start off, what would you do if the Lambo got written off? What would I do? I would definitely break down and cry. I'd just break down and cry and just cry on YouTube for the remainder of the year of all of the videos that I had to do. It would just be crying vlogs. Adam Stewart has asked, what exhaust system are you hoping to get and why that particular one? Now this is um, a question that I've kind of answered in the vlogs before, but if you've missed it, then I'm gonna get a full Armitrix exhaust system, not just the back box. I'm gonna be getting the headers and the decap pipes as well, which will make this car one of the loudest Lamborghini Gallardos in Europe. Check this clip out. Now I've been sent similar clips of Army Tricks Lamborghinis that have appeared on YouTube and on the Army Tricks YouTube channel. However, that is how it sounds with just the back box. So with headers and the decap pipes as well. Joa or Joa so Salsa? I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce that, so I apologize. Anyway, your question is very important. What is your next goal since you have bought the Lamborghini? Now that I've achieved that goal, it's important that there's new motivation there to sort of let me reach higher um, and just aim for that next level of stuff. Now, obviously, some people may or may not know that I still live at home with my mum. And that would be bizarre, or in most cases, bizarre the fact that I've got a Lamborghini before I bought a house. However, it was always a plan, both business and personal, for me to buy this car before I bought a house. Anyway, my next goal now is only a 12 month away scheme or plan or whatever it is. Basically, what I want to do is when I come to sell this Lamborghini, which hopefully will be in the next 12 months or so, so that answers some of the other questions that have appeared on my Q&A that I won't be answering, I wanna keep this car for around 12 months. I wanna have a lot of fun with it. I wanna tune it in the way that I wanna tune it and modify it in the way I want to modify it. And then what I'm aiming to do is purchase a place of my own, a property, get on the property ladder, which will enable me to vlog at home, potentially include my girlfriend in the vlogs because we'll probably be buying the place together and there's gonna be some vlogs of, um, well, making it our own, I suppose. Um, but what I aim to do is what, uh, is buy the property, but also the next supercar. So I'm aiming to buy them both together. I'm not sure whether it's gonna be another Lamborghini or what it is, but that is the plan. A property and a supercar on the driveway. Okay, this question, UK underscore, underscore car spotting has asked a question that has been asked definitely in the thousands of time. Would you consider putting a Superleggera wing on my Bicolori? Now this I'm gonna answer as properly as possible because I don't think this car would suit a Superleggera wing. Now that may sound crazy because 
everyone knows the Gallardo does suit the Superleggera wing, but the majority of those pictures or cars that you see are either a Superleggera or a Gallardo that has got a full body kit around the car. The reason that I bought the Bicolore Special Edition is because it is a Special Edition in its own right. It doesn't need any more uh, enhancements sorry, or modifications to the exterior of the car, i.e. body kits. It is made from the factory like this and I think it looks beautiful. Now, yes, I do think that a Superleggera wing would look cool on this car only if it had carbon fibre side skirts, a new more aggressive rear diffuser and maybe even a new front bumper. So if I was going to do the wing and I'll do the whole body kit and right now I'm loving and really enjoying the car how it is. I'm only three weeks into ownership so who knows whether a Superleggera wing will come along in the ownership of this car but right now unfortunately the wing is not on my agenda. Samuel Burrows on Instagram if you could take one celebrity for a ride around a track of your choice, who would it be with and what track would it be on? Now I asked, answered a similar question in the sun recently when I bought this car and I'd have to stick with it. I'd have to stick with taking Justin Bieber for a ride. Now, for those that don't know, I'm quite a big fan of Justin Bieber, both for his music, but just as a person as well. I think he's a really cool guy and has come around and come a long way in the last sort of year to two years or so. Um, what track would it be on? Probably one that I've never done before. Spa? Spa would be a pretty awesome track. I've never been. It looks awesome. Have a lot of fun filming on that um, on the Formula One 2015 with Seen Through Glass. So it might disappoint a lot of people, but I reckon e either Justin Bieber or Chris Brown. That would be in my passenger seat um, around Spa just to scare them. Harry J. Simmons has asked another question about Supercars of London clothing. There was a lot of questions about Supercars of London clothing, which will be revealed closer to the 27th of September throughout this week, because I'm doing a lot of vlogs surrounding that. He asked, would you be giving away any Supercars of London clothing? Um, oh no, would you be giving any of the Supercars of London clothing away to my subscribers? This is something that I'm really, really keen on pushing, and I will be doing and launching a lot of competitions not particularly for the first launch it, everything's in place everything is in place for this Sunday however there are going to be some awesome competitions about how you can win rides in this car how you can come to events with me lots and lots of cool stuff so supercars of London clothing is just getting started and there's going to be a lot of fun competitions coming soon okay a question from Akib Alam would you rather have water or have internet so I suppose this is the would you rather sort of question. 100% I would rather have water because you can only go a certain amount of days as a human being without water. Um, and what I would do is use those extra days that I have of being able to drink water and have access to water to find a cure for the internet so that I can bring the internet back because I assume have the internet's gone. In this question, in this scenario, the internet has disappeared because we've got the internet at the moment. So I would rather have water and then I'll go on a hunt and bring back the internet. That's, that's how I'd handle that question because you can't really live without the internet. You can, but you can't, if that makes sense. We have got a question from Horatio M16. This could be Horatio Pagani in disguise. Um, but what he is asking is what has been your motivation for success? This is a, an important question. I try to, I try and answer as many of these style questions in Q and A's as possible, but try and make them different as well. My main motivation um, for my success or my main motivation every single day is definitely when people tell me I can't do something. When people try and not belittle me, but when they try and tell you that something isn't possible. So maybe two or three years ago when I said I want to have a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or whatever I want to have, like at school, I was saying I'm going to have a Lamborghini by 25 and everyone was saying, no, that's impossible, you're not going to do that. And I use that motivation to get me to the position that I am today. And all of the hard work is definitely starting to pay off and that doesn't mean that I'm stopping. I'm, e I'm working even harder, I'm making more videos, I'm trying to do more stuff, I'm trying to create better content, highly edited, not particularly this video, but I'm working towards all of these new things that are gonna be happening to Supercars of London. And the motivation behind all of my work ethic is one, my passion for Supercars and my passion for the business that I run, but also it is those people that are telling me, no, this isn't possible, you can't do this, you can't do that. And then I just sort of turn away and go, well, I'm gonna do that now because you told me I can't do it. So that's probably the best way to answer that question. So I hope that's helped. Here we go, we've got a question which is a bit more dreamy than anything else. We've got Ant 
C-O-C, I think that's the best way to say it, A-M-T-T-C-I-O-C-E-E. -E. If you had $10 million, what would you spend it on? Now this is something you have to probably think about more so than what I'm going to think about now. This is a spontaneous answer to a very serious question. $10 million is life changing. I would buy a property that I could live in. I would also probably buy a property abroad, maybe in America or somewhere in the south of France, that sort of area, that I could not only hire out or rent out, but also go and live there and, and, as a holiday. Um, then we get into the cars. What would I have? I would probably have um, an Aventador SV in the UK. I'd probably have a Bentley V8, the brand new one, as a daily car. Um, and then down in the south of France or wherever it was in a more hot country, I would look at maybe a convertible. Um, it would probably have to be along the lines of... Um, oh, this is difficult now. This is difficult. I think I would buy a LaFerrari. I'd, I'd probably buy a LaFerrari. I'd have a LaFerrari, but that's not a convertible. I don't think it matters, to be honest. So I'd probably spend... A couple of million on a place here, a couple of million on a, a holiday place slash a place that you could rent out. So those two places are probably paying for itself in terms of interest in the bank, but also on rent. Um, then I'd buy a LaFerrari, or oh, just poke myself, I'd buy an Aventador SV, I would buy a Bentley, and I'd try and buy cars like the LaFerrari and the Aventador SV that aren't going to depreciate, so that I've got the asset value and the equity in those cars as well, because that's important. If you get given $10 million, it's very easy to spend it and lose that money, but it's much more difficult to get given that sort of money and maintain it and make more money, and that's exactly what I'd try and do. That concludes the Q&A. I have answered the majority of I, I hope I've answered the majority of the questions obviously some of them are similar when they come in I try and answer as many as possible with the biggest variation to make the video as interesting as possible now tomorrow what I'm filming now is a daily vlog um, that well I'm I haven't filmed too much of it at the moment because it's still early in the morning but please check out the vlog tomorrow because I may throw in a couple of more questions in the vlog tomorrow which I'm filming today so make sure you go and check that out <laughs> if you're new please subscribe and I look forward to doing a lot more Q&A's very soon I love listening and hearing all of the questions that you have and I wish I could do all of the questions possible I try and cover the questions as broad as possible and give a bit of variation but um, I hope you guys understand and I've thoroughly enjoyed the seating position actually I hope I haven't ruined the sort of um, feeling or uh, is it ergonomics is that the right ergonomics of the seat um, so I'm going to twist back round now my socks on camera oh 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 and it is time for me to say goodbye thank you for watching thank you for submitting all of your questions let's do this again sometime soon and make sure that you're tuning in tomorrow's vlog for more q a stuff this week is all about supercars of london clothing as well I'm not wearing the Supercars London t-shirt because I wore it yesterday in the vlog, but I'm building the website. I'm going to be bringing a lot more information into the videos about when and where you can get the t-shirts, how you can get your hands on them. There's only 100 and they are going to be first come, first serve basis. But I'm also going to talk about bigger projects, competitions and a lot more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Cheers. Saw a white Lamborghini drop it down again and boot it. One thing I've realised on this car as I take it out of sport.